Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. With me, Verax, Geralt, and Roach, obviously. Uh, this episode we're going to head back to uh, Crack on Crate to collect our reward and then do the um, couple of quests on, I guess, the mainland. We've got someone to meet around there. We've got a sword to find around here. A couple other quests, obviously, to kind of do around this area. Lots of um, areas of interest. So um, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do all that kind of stuff. Um, in between recordings, I played this guy and this guy at Gwent and beat both of them. This guy was a right pain. It took me like three times to beat him. And I got a couple of cards, yada yada. I just wanted to sort of round this off. And I didn't want to like, record that because it did take a good half hour. Um, so now we can concentrate on what's really important, which is turning quests and getting loot. But I couldn't leave it. Honestly, you couldn't leave it. So we've got two things to do here. Well, a couple of things, really. We've got a couple... Um, got this guy to go and see. Good. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? This that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Yeah. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. Yeah, I was How's the mood in there. Okay. Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Hmm. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Hmm. Stop your shite boasting! Oh, he looks so Serious? dejected. Hey! Ah, damn it! He lost that one. Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that. But you saw her. She's so. so. Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> 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 Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Yeah, so if we'd have sailed here, which would have been extremely boring, but if we'd have sailed here, we could have done some points of interest. I did think about it. I did think that we could... Um, you know, go from here to there and pick up some of these smugglers' caches and maybe, you know, gone here and stuff. I thought I could go here from here. Because I do want to visit this place, but go there, you see, that way. Um, but I thought, no, I won't, I won't bother. So we'll just say that but if I had done that, it would have made more sense um, that Sirius was, was here. Because <laughs> we just, like, literally teleported. But, um, of course, we didn't literally teleport. So um, we have travelled by boat and she just got here quicker because she's a better sailor. And instantly going into a fight with a brother. Which I like. Hello? Uh, yeah, we'll get into a fist fight. I mean, when in Rome, punch Romans in the face. That's how it goes, right? Something like that. But that's why we're here. Um. To collect our reward and maybe get some other. Greetings, Berna. 
Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Yeah, maybe get some more developments on not the main quest, but the the main the main quest of this area, if you like. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. I wonder which family that would be. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. Hmm. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. She does have a kind of point, you know. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. She does kind of have a, a point, you know. I'll get into that in a bit, I guess. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan mm. on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Um, because pretty much, yeah, she's 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 just. I'll just go back into that. Um, vote for me, and I'll give you this, and vote for me, I'll give you that, and then whoever has get, gained the most votes is obviously given the most away. So therefore, they're the weakest candidate, I guess, because then they have to do all the things that they said they'd do. Otherwise, they'd stir up a lot of trouble. Um, and in doing so, probably. Piss a lot of other people off by giving away lands that, that, that they owned and um You're just you're just getting allies through kind of favours that really they don't have to pay pay back if you've made them powerful enough themselves. So yeah, I kinda I kinda get that she's like, yeah, this isn't the best way to do it. I kind of kinda do do get that. Anyway. Um Uh, we, he's mentioned hospitality, so we'll deal with one first. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone. That Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. She was wise enough about the uh, Heim. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. 
But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who will drown oh, Nilfgaard uh, excuse in me. blood. Bone? Sooner jump into a fight. Sorry about that. Um, yes, yes. A bit, bit immersion breaking. Uh, wrong number. Of course. All right. <clears throat> no one ever rings me. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. A bauble, huh? Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. I must probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Trouble. First of all, we gotta check this sword. Well, unless it's a. Get it, get it. That's not good. It's a big horrible bear thing. This one's real. Just a, just a second, just a second. Just a, hang on. So this sword that we got. <laughs> Fate. Probably not very good because of the level thing. Oh, it's, it's, um, 10% chance to stagger. That's nice. Uh, it does 10 less damage. It's one level below us, but Igni and Axi, I use those. Honestly, the freezing hasn't really worked. Should we use Faith? Yeah, just a second bear thing. I'm just going to, um, I like the chance to stagger, you know. Chance to stun, armor piercing, chance to poison, burning. Let's stun again. I don't know if I got more staggering. A 5% attack power could make up for it um, being a bit under under-leveled. Um, there's another chance to stagger. Uh, Our piercing doesn't really matter too much on a silver blade. Generally point gain. Generally point gain. Sky intensity for everything. 2% mm. chance to freeze. Chance to stun. Piercing. Chance to poison. There we go. So we'll use this bauble. Um, but whether we need to use it against this bear thing. Maybe I'm using the wrong sword. a thing. So what went on there? <laughs> Looks like they couldn't dare to be at that party. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! 
put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Let's... <laughs> Why couldn't I just get my reward and leave? That's all I wanted. Get my reward, leave, do some side quests. But no, now we have bears slaughtering everyone. Awesome. Um... Hmm, well, yeah. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine. Things to consider. We must find out how this came to be. Elsewise, we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. I could just stay out of it. She is right. She's obviously right. Blatantly obvious that she's right. Uh, that we need to find out who did it. That's just how things work in life. Uh, you got to find out stuff before you act. But I could have said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm through with this. I'm not, but, um, oh, she just seems so freaking sensible compared to everybody else. It's hard to say no when she's obviously like the one who's in the right, so. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. You're not, you've got nowhere to go. You don't know what you're I'll looking for. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Does at least um, narrow things down, doesn't it? In terms of who's going to be. King or Queen? We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. I just want to do some side quest game. What are you doing all this for? Fang marks, claw marks, together, broken bones. How'd they get in? Hard to say what exactly no, killed him. What? Geralt, a giant freaking bear He's killed him. So <laughs> All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. 
mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. It's like some of the guests were turned into bears. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Where bears? Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. You know what? Killed him. Audric. Shit. No more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Well, at least this platter's okay. You could just get a bite to eat. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. You can't... Yeah, there's no point doing the same thing again, is there? Drogadar. Skald's played his last. I'm going to make doubly sure you can't learn anything else from this, but I don't think so. I think all the bears will have the same kind of clues with them. Well, at least you're helping, right? Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? It does. Mm -hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. And Hjort is where? Where? Okay, right, just there. Okay, good. I thought it's gonna be one of those right halfway across the map things, but he's just in the building. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> You should maybe go somewhere else, you know. I'm just saying. You maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe... Just leave the room. Might be an idea. Oh, where am I? Okay, this way. <laughs> A disgrace. The kind we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Fewer died then. And I'm a Jarl's son of mother. If this turns out to be Crack, I'll twist his head off. If Crack appears to be guilty, we'll try him and keep him with our customs. Aye, and then I'll twist his head off. Stay on task. We can talk to those guys later, hopefully, maybe. Freyr or a mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. 
Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? <laughs> Already have? Yeah. What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the horn. <laughs> Sorry. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib. I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. He can... Alright, I'll lead the way. Lead the way, you know what you're doing, obviously. Let's have a little word with these guys. Wanted to talk to you. What about? What about? What do you think, Holger? It's not here about salted herring or the currents run speaker rogue. Flap your gob at me again and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skellige. Speak, Witcher. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most to gain, but we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazea to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was crack, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll ask him how they managed to survive. So long. It's it's like a, it's one of those passive aggressive kind of things. So how do how how did you manage to uh, not die during all that? You know, it's like, what are you saying? We must find the traitors so. quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? Nice, now they're cleaning. Father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. I like Ceres. Good character. Good, uh... Probably a favourite among Let's Players, right? Of who you kind of side with. Why? one that makes a lot of sense right she's sensible and not an idiot <laughs> so it's the one you'll gravitate towards knew there'd be trouble it was all too calm funny arnvold said the same for a feast to be any good mead's got to flow but so does blood i'd say he got his wish hmm
I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. I'll just have a right roll down you. here. That's a relief. <laughs> Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! Well, they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. <laughs> Why am I walking? Come on, move. Which button is it? <laughs> God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ugh. Bygone days. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Yeah, we had a lot of time in there. I kind of panicked, I guess. Well, acted quickly. I wouldn't say panicked, you know, I mean. But, um. Maybe we had more time to investigate stuff. I don't know. One ability point. Guess we'll just keep evening these up. Yeah, I've... I've Hang on a minute. I think the interface in this in this is a bit weird. Um, look it up, yeah. Fix it. Should have agreed that, shouldn't I? Keep forgetting. So the plan for this um, episode has gone completely out the window. <laughs> but I'd just turn the quest in, then go... Random side quests, but no. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac... Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No. But I've no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. It was looting there, but I think I'll just have to forego it. Through the mead, Ceres. Come on, let's go. You come in. You come in. Yeah, good. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look, it's him. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Come on, Roach. Don't let me down now. Oh, you're there. Great. Let's go. 
No, I saw that. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Right, crossbow. You Good going, guard. Way to see you, boy, that! Got him! <laughs> Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. Mm. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. <coughs> we need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. This has killed it a lot more quickly than I expected. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boonav Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served at Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Isn't... We can say this, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreat lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Hmm, looks like we missed something though, right? Must have been something else we could have found or done to uh, get her to blame. 
You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Ah. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svan Riga, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crip. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst. She's gonna jump. And sea fowl will peck apart your remains. She's not gonna jump. I would have jumped. Hear that. I'd have been, oh, screw that. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump. Why wouldn't she jump? Raced. Quicker. Werner had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Um, might join you later. Counting on it. As our Death children. Rub. Oh, get the crossbow. I got a crossbow. If one. Everyone. Yeah, we'll do correlation a bit. I mean, it makes no sense to do it right now. I know we could have like said gladly and it would have taken us straight there, but they've got a lot of cleaning up to do. They've got a lot of organizing and recuperating and mourning to do. So I think it makes sense that now we take a little break and do some side quests. Well, not now, next episode, but you know, you know how things are. We also got a new Ooh, a new crossbow, a new crossbow that does less damage but has loads more attack power. Um, it still says minus fourteen though. It's weird. Um, my current one is sadly better. <laughs> oh, never mind. I could use it because it'll look cool on my back. Because let's face it, doesn't, uh, we might might use it. I don't know. We'll see. It's not, not much make much difference, is it? Right, everyone. Um, so uh, next time I will do side quests and stuff in town, um, well on this island. And um, well, that was a that was an exciting twenty four hours, wasn't it? And hopefully I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I do wonder though. Sorry, I know I, I wanted to say this and then forgot what the Halma Halma um, side would be like, because obviously that was really sensible investigative. And was the right choice to make because we did do the whole thing. I'm really curious about what happens if you follow Hyalma. And um, like how that would possibly lead to the same conclusion, even if it does. No. Oh, curious one. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And hopefully, I will see you next time. Toodaloo.